Okay. I'm going to have a go at explaining the an alternating thumb picking style, uh, which would be useful for something fine and for the likes of Streets of London and a million other songs that go. <laughs> sort of thing. Um, so it's not something I've ever learned to be particularly accurate with. Uh, generally speaking, as long as I get my thumb doing what it's supposed to do more or less and my fingers flailing about in some kind of musical sense, that's usually good enough for me. Um, good guitar players will do this properly. So <clears throat> in order to be able to free, be free and easy and loose and, and variable with your finger style, it's very useful to learn a simple one to start with and then once you've got the hang of that and once that's coming freely and easily as you play, then you can vary it and mess around with it and, and, and do some stuff, which is kind of what I do. So I'll do something very simple, uh, which is very useful for something fine and it goes like this. It's called an alternating thumb method and it is based on the principle that your thumb is keeping every beat. So in a 4-4 four, four time, your thumb would be playing 1 and 2 and or 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. And that never changes no matter what your other fingers are doing. Okay, and it's called an alternating thumb because your thumb alternates <coughs> between the root note, G. I'm playing a G chord here, by the way. So your root note alternates between G on the sixth string and the fifth string, which is a B. So root and B, and in between plays the fourth string, which is the open D. alternates between the two bass strings, it alternates between the first and the fifth, first and the third, that sort of thing. When you're playing a C chord, uh, it would go the other way. So the root note is on the fifth string here on the C. So you'd play, or you might play, doesn't really matter, it depends on what you want to do. For this exercise I'm going to show you the alternating th thumb method with a fairly simple finger style on the three finger. If I can get it right, I'll give it a shot. Okay, that sort of thing. And it goes like this, on the one beat, so I'm playing one and, sorry, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, that's the count that I'm working on. So on the first beat, you're picking the thumb and the second finger. The second finger always owns the second string, the third finger always owns the first string, and the first finger always owns the third string. So whatever else your thumb is doing, fingers always work on strings one, two, and three. Yep. Yeah. So on the first beat of the bar, you will pick the thumb on the sixth string, and then the second string with your second finger. Pick them together. Okay. So <clears throat> on the one and, there is no, nothing picked on the one on the and. So when you get to the second beat of the bar, one and two and, sorry, one and two picking the thumb on the fourth string. One and two and, okay. On the and, after the two, you're picking the third string, sorry, the first string on its own with your third finger. Okay, one and two, one and two and, one and two and, one and two and three, four, one and two and. Practice that a few times. Okay. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and okay. So on the third beat, we're gonna on its own, we're gonna pick the fifth string with your thumb. So you get one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Okay. So now 
will add the AND after the third which is the second string with the second finger again on its own. See, this is a lot more simple than it sounds. You're only picking, apart from the very first beat of the bar, where you pick two strings together, you're only picking one string at a time. It sounds more complex because it rolls nicely. So, we've got to the third beat where we're playing one, two, three. Okay, and after that we're gonna pick this second string with the second finger. So you get one, So on the fourth beat of the bar, <coughs> if you remember the thumb is doing one and two, four, one, two, three. So on the fourth beat of the bar, we're going to pick the fourth string with the thumb on its own. <coughs> so we get one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four, one, two, three. last half beat of the bar we're going to pick the third string with the index finger. It's the first time we've used it and it's the only time in the bar that you use it. So you get one, two, and three, and four, and one. Okay? Sorry, I keep getting this wrong. I told you I wasn't very good at this. One, 